WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Friday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And we got markets hanging around positive territory. It is Jobs Friday, non farm payroll numbers. And let's get right into the action. We got the Dow up 16 points, trading at 28.945. SP futures positive by four, trading at 32.80. NASDAQ futures positive by 29, trading at 9,038. All of those markets reacting to the news of the day. Jobs number 145,000 jobs created in the month of December, rounding out quite a 2019. That number just under the 160,000 that the market had been looking for. Still, unemployment rate holding steady at 3.5 percent. Pretty remarkable as this economy marches on. With that in mind, we jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. As you can see, in positive territory, but we're off the highs that we made last night. The futures market over 29,000, trading at 29,000. 2021 currently trading 28,955. Nasdaq 100 had been higher as well, reaching a high of 9,054 just at about 6:30 a.m. Eastern time. You got the Nasdaq 100 trading at 9,040 right now. S&Ps had reached a high of 3286, pretty remarkable as we strive for maybe 3300 in the S&P, currently trading 3282. Crude oil, $59.23 right now. The gold contract with some volatility on that jobs number for sure. Gold trading from about $15.49, almost up $10 to $15.57. And then just like that, we've paired those gains with gold trading at $15.49. And there's your euro US dollar with some volatility on the 830 non farm payroll number as well. The euro spikes to 111, about 111.12 back under that level now to 11096. In terms of what else you have happening, news across the market, it just does not stop for Boeing as some of the some of the recently revealed emails have been released and boy oh boy the quotes are pretty damning in terms of what they may have known, certain pilots tipping people off in emails into just uh, calling people clowns and monkeys in terms of who was designing and in charge of that airplane. What else we have going on? The House passing a resolution to limit President Trump's war powers against Iran. We'll see how that plays out and checking in on the bonds as we wrap this up. 1.862% yield on the 10 year was actually above 1.9% briefly overnight. A little bit of volatility on that jobs number. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento coming up right now. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom.